Hey guys, it's me Astrid, and I'm sorry I didn't get this video made while my flowers were still fully blooming before they started to fade, but hey, better late than never. This is my first ever rebloom on an orchid. This is my huge Odontocidium wildcat. I picked it up at Fred Meyer, I live in the US, and it rebloomed for me. The flower spike started in late October. I think I posted a video update. And I trained it to wrap around the stake so I wouldn't have any ugly clips holding it on. And I'm really proud of that. It grew just wonderfully around the stake and that was very pleasing. Um, as you can see, some of these leaves are longer than my forearm. The pseudobulbs are the size of my palm. They're just a really big and wonderful plant. If you saw the plant when I bought it last year, it was in double spike and it had flower stalks that came up about this much higher than I have now. I think maybe it's due to light or just that I'm not a commercial grower, I don't know. But I wanted to show you a little update on this plant. By the way, if I didn't say, this is Odontocidium wildcat. This time it gave me nine flowers and I just think they're gorgeous. Each one has its own little special face on the lower white lip you can see a little frog or something it looks like a little happy frog to me but yeah these flowers i love the color i love how there's that wine red brown color and um the white lower lip is just beautiful i was smelling this flowers today and they seem to give the very slightest fragrance but not enough that i would say oh yes this is a fragrant orchid or it has any particular smell at all but yeah these flowers they all deserve a little showcase <laughs> oh no this one's petal is dying I didn't notice how sad but yeah so yes the flower spike started late October it started to bloom the second week in December and then I was on vacation for two weeks so I didn't get to fully appreciate the blooms oh well and I wanted to show you this plant has ridiculous roots the roots are just going wild in here. They're going down in the pot. They're wrapping around the sides of the pot. They're doing basically everything I would love to see my orchids roots doing. And this plant had tons of roots when I got it from the store. It had like, it looked like a wig was growing off of my plant. And the best news here is that we have a little baby new growth that just popped up. I'm expecting to see a new growth here or here on this orchid pretty soon, or this suitable pretty soon, but I have this little baby new growth, which means I'm going to grow a nice, big, ridiculous number of pseudobulbs on this wonderful plant, and I'm very pleased about it. For those of you wondering, this flower, this leaf, I couldn't decide if it was fading or not, so I just kind of tore it off. I didn't have clean cutting equipment and this bulb dropped its other leaf so I think a lot of my oncidium types are dropping a leaf or two right now and it's weird because they they all do it together it's really lovely how plants work I apologize for the mess in my room but yeah I just wanted to show you this beautiful orchid I really really love it if you don't have it in your collection it's great it's big it's it's loud it makes a statement and it has wonderful long foliage. It's a really good orchid. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a really great day. <laughs> and this is an Odontocidium wildcat. Have a good one. Bye!